trying to build up some layers here really. Um, so my first layer is um, using um, fabric paint or acrylic paint would work just So you've well. masked off areas with yes. masking? Yes, so it's just torn masking, masking tape. Um, and I'm working on to onto velvet because I like when you're working on to velvet you can play with the nap so you can have it painted that way or you can have it painted that way that changes how it picks up the picks up the light. Um, so first first layer is um, is painting. And then when you take when you take the tape off, you've got this sort of nice um, sort of organic organic edge um, on here. Um, and I've let that dry and then just iron to to fix. Um, and then my second layer, you peel the carrier paper off. You've got you know, essentially um, it's still transparent. It has a little a little bit of. Uh, Opacity. The fond web does add a little to the opacity, and then that can be ironed straight on. So with on onto black fabric, it doesn't show up that much because you know I just want a little subtle touch of the colour. So that's just laid laid down like that. Um, and then the next layer is transfoils. So these um, lovely things here. So I'm going to leave the carrier paper on and lay that down. Again, I'm going to iron that under parchment because it's right over the shear. So if I put my iron straight on the shear, it would be in danger of... Uh, although this iron is not as hot, so it's a travel iron. So I just need to leave that to, to cool a little. And then remove the carrier paper. So that's essentially leaving on there um, a layer of glue, really. So the transfoils come on sheets like this on a, on a carrier paper, and they go down this way. They go down with the foil upwards. Um, and then you iron on top. Now it says on the instructions to, to do this through baking parchment, but I'm using a travel iron which isn't as hot, so I can just do it. If you put a full heat iron on there, it will go. But, uh, and then essentially, the foil it comes off the, and goes onto the, the gluey area. And see there where, where it's had the, the bonder web on the shears, some of the bonder web is coming through the, the shears. So it's, uh, and I like just to uh, knock it back a bit. I like it to be not too, not too definite. And I also like to have more than one shear, more than one transfer. So I quite often foil over foil. And then that just picks up another little, little glint, except when you take off the And then the top layer is, is this, is this stuff here. Um, so the, this is used very, very simply, and then you just uh, place it down, and it comes off a sort of a. Quite, it's quite nasty really, it's sort of a, um, very plasticky, but it's used in the sort of commercial world for doing sort of um, decals on um, t-shirts and things like, things like that. Um, and it's, uh, they use it in industry, they would cut out the motifs with using big sort of die cutting machines and they would fix it with big heat presses but we're very low tech here, we've got, we've got a craft knife and an iron but uh, we're just using it just tiny little bits really and I'm sort of trying to think of ways of using it where it's um, where I can knock it back because it is very shiny. Once it's been heat fixed, you then 
peel off the top layer. So it still still feels like it definitely sits on the surface. Um, um, and I've, I've tried sort of knocking it back with um, boot polish and uh, pan scrub and soldering iron, but nothing nothing touches it really. So I'm still trying to find a way of sort of getting it to blend into the into the background.